Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to do this interesting viewer suggested in tech world using Feynman's techniques, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from 0 to 1. Sine of ln x over ln x dx. I'll be using Feynman's technique to evaluate this. So that is why I'll be writing this i, say, of a as integral from 0 to 1. Sine of a times ln x over ln x dx. Introducing a parameter. Okay, then what we need is going to be then i of 1 for our case. Then what I'm going to do is I'll be differentiating this i of a with respect to the a, right? So it should be looking like i prime of a. It is going to be integral, still from 0 to 1, of some expression. This expression has to be the derivative, say d over dA. Derivative of the sine of a ln x over ln x with respect to the a. So using the chain rule, then it has to be the same as the cosine of a ln x. That times now ln x over your denominator that is ln x. So that we can cancel this ln x out, so it has to be only this cosine of a times ln x. Okay, so your i prime of a. i prime of a has to be then the integral from 0 to 1 of cosine of a ln x. Okay, and we have dx. Then I'll be working on another substitution. So let me call this, say, k. k as negative of this inside of your parenthesis, negative of a times ln x. Okay, then your dk has to be equal to negative a times 1 over x dx. So that this dx is the same as negative x dk over a. Okay, then now this i prime of the a, this is the same as, okay, once again, from 0 to 1, and cosine of a ln x, then we have dx. We can rewrite this as now, um, integral, say the lower bound has to be now the infinity, right? Using this k as negative a times ln x, right? Okay, so... Now, when x is equal to 0, then the lower bound has to be now then infinity, and the upper bound is going to be then the 0 of cosine of the negative k. And then your dx was negative x dk over the a. Okay, then let's pull this negative 1 over a out. So this is the same as negative 1 over a times integral from infinity to 0 of now that the x times cosine of now negative k. Well, the cosine is an even function, so we can only say cosine of the k2. It's now just a dk. And then let's switch this lower bound and the upper bound of the integral by pulling negative sign out. So this is the same as then negative 1 over a times negative of integral now from 0 to infinity of x times cosine of k. And then we have dk. So that's why negative cancels out. It is 1 over a times integral from 0 to infinity of x times cosine of k. And then dk. But making sure for the substitution, we call this k as now then negative a ln x, right? So let's get an expression for this x inside of your integral. So that means now ln x has to be the same as negative k over a. Let's apply e to the base of the left and the right hand side, right? So this is the same as then 
um, e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of negative k over a. So this has to be just equal to the x because e to the power of ln x is equal to just the x. So we can rewrite this i prime of a again. This is now that the 1 over a times integral from 0 to infinity. And then now we have e to the power x was equal to e to the power of negative k over a. So e to the power of negative k over a, that times cosine of k and dk. Okay, but then again, we should know this property, right? So if we have integral from 0 to infinity in the form of, say, e to the power of negative st times cosine, of some constant a times t and dt. Simply, the result of it has to be the same as then s over s squared plus a squared. So in our case, your s has to be 1 over a, and then the a has to be just a 1, right? So using this, the result of this integral should be, okay, 1 over a. 1 over a over 1 over a entire thing squared plus 1. And let's simplify this. So if you simplify this, it should be then the 1 over a over um, a squared plus 1 over now a squared. So that is why canceling one of the a's out, it has to be the same as then the a over a squared plus 1. Okay, so the result of this integral was this a over a squared plus 1. We need to multiply 1 over a to it, right? So that is why 1 over a times a over a squared plus 1. Cancel this a out. It is only 1 over a squared plus 1. So that is why this integral that we are looking for. Integral from 0 to 1, sine of ln x over ln x dx. Okay, this has to be the same as then integral, integral uh, from 0 to 1 of this 1 over a squared plus 1 dA. So it has to be i of 1 minus i of now 0. Because this looks like the arc 10, right? So now the expression for this has to be then the same as we have 1 over a squared plus 1. This is the arc tangent our tangent of the a from 0 to 1. So that's why if you evaluate this, then it has to be our tangent of, now 1 has to be pi over 4, and then our tangent of 0 is equal to 0. So pi over 4 minus 0 is pi over 4. So the answer for this question is pi over 4. So pi over 4 was the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral evaluated using Feynman's technique. So I'll be back more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.